welkom bij vandaagse lockdown les voor personeel bestuur in 6. In this video we are going to continue with the various leadership theories that we have already started covering in module 4 on leadership. En ons gaan vandaag specifiek kijken naar die leiderschapsrooster, Leadership Grid by Blake and Mouton. Ok, so hierdie specifieke theorie is baie baie belangrijk, want het wordt gebaseerd op beide die leiderschaps eindskap theorie as well as the Ohio State Study. So it's basically just a continuation of the previous two theories that we have already looked at. According to this theory, you want to assess the dominating mindset of managers in leading other people. So what is jouw algehele benadering? Wat is jouw denkpatroon when it comes by the leading van jouw werkers within your spine? This theory believes that there's different styles and each manager chooses to deal with these aspects differently based on their leadership traits, based on their personalities, and then of course based on their focus, whether it is focus for results or focus on the people. Now, as you know, with the Ohio State Studies, you have also looked at the two aspects of your gedrag, your aanvang structure and ook your consideration, okay, consideration and initiating structure, whereas initiating structure refers to achieving results through the achievement of objectives, and consideration has to do with the people element and making sure they are happy. Now, and for all besieders within the besieders, you have a tendency to move in one of these two directions, Okay, so they choose to go either the way of consideration or they go the way of um, initiating structure. You krijg ook in sommige gevalle die, die besieders wat combinatie van die twee gebruik afhangende van hulle voor je. Okay. So the principles that Blake and Mouton established was that the leader might achieve good results in the short term, but that was unlikely to be a successful leadership approach for the long term, especially if you focus only on the people and don't worry about the effects of the business as a whole. Now, as you look at page 68, on page 68, they basically give you the leadership grid there. So I want to explain this grid to you so you can see how it in, impacts the business. Okay, now come and look first at the y-axis and the x-axis. If you look at the y-axis, it talks about concern for people on a score from 0 or 1, which is low, to 9, which is high. Now, if you compare that to Ohio State studies, that talks about consideration. Eh? The impact that you have on your workers, your need to your workers to be able to do it. One is low and one is low. If you look at the x-axis, it talks about concern for results. That's the initiating structure part of the Ohio State studies. So hij gaan ook van 1 laag tot 9 hoog. En as jy gaan kyk na die grid, sien jy hulle praat van 5 types bestuur, 5 types of management. That is basically plotted somewhere on that grid based on the ratio of consideration for people versus the ratio of consideration for results. En volgens Blake en Mouton, gaan jy as leier 1 van daardie 5 bestuurstijl hee. Okay. Afhangende van jou benadering, Gaan jij een groter bezorgdheid hebben voor je mensen, of gaan je groter bezorgdheid hebben voor resultaten, of misschien een combinatie van die twee? Now let's start at the bottom left side of the script. In the bottom left hand side, you'll see a type of manager that has low regard for people and low regard for results. So, eindelijk is dit een oneffectieve leier. Want hy word nie rarig vir die mense nie, maar word ook nie rarig oor die bereiking van doelwitte vir die besigheid nie. And this is therefore known as impoverished, impoverished managers. Ok, excuse, ek kan eers vandag Engels praat nie. But in this one it says, doing just enough to get required work done without providing clear direction or support. So hulle float maar net, hulle kry maar net een salaris, hulle doen wat hulle moet doen, but it's not really a high regard for either the business or its people. Now as jy na die linkerkant boor kyk, kyk jy na jou country club management. Now the country club manager is one that has high regard for its people, but it has low regard for the business results. Ok, en dit is een baie belangrike een om die so te onthou. Jy kan nie net focus op jou werkers om hulle gelukkig daar nie. Because then yes, you'll have happy workers, but you'll not get any results. And this will have a major impact on the business in the long run. Maar die selfde gaan vir die ander kant van die coin. If we look at the bottom right hand side, we have authority managers. 
And these are the managers that focus so much on achieving results and um, achieving their objectives that they completely disregard their people. And that is ook a verkeerde houding in te neem. Want jy het jou werkers nodig om juist die doelwitte te gaan bereik. And if you don't focus on the people as well, then you'll have a bit of an issue in achieving these goals and objectives. Reg in die middel van hierdie grids wat jy sien, daar is jou middle of the road management. And these are the managers that has a little bit of regard for people as well as a little bit of regard for the results of the business. So hulle is effectief, hulle kry dinge gedoen, hulle werkers is happy, maar dit is nie heel te wel so effectief soos wat die rechts en die boekant is nie. At the top right hand side we have the team manager, the team management staff. And here, the manager has high regard for people as well as high concern for business results. And that is actually where we want our managers to be. We want our leaders to have a high concern for people as well as a high concern for results. So as jy na jou bestuurspan in dag gaan kyk, gaan jy jou bestuurs in een van hierdie vijf kategorieën kan plaas. Do, are they impoverished manager where they don't really care about either? Of is hulle een van die middle of the road managers, where they keep both sides happy, but they just float. Okay, so hierdie specifieke theorie is al redelijk gebestudeerd. It is something that can be implemented in the workplace, and it really does have a major impact on the operation of managers and leaders within the business. Okay, so ideaal, wat soek ons? Ons soek jou, jou spanbestuurs, jou team managers. And um, we want to avoid a situation where there is low regard for either of the two aspects of the business. Now, too, this is our layerskaps rooster theory. In the next video, we will have a look at contingency theories by Hershey and Blanchard. Okay, so we are going to look at your situational layerskap, where we will look at the theory of Hershey and Blanchard. Now, till then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!